Now, I'd like you to imagine what it must have been like to be Maxwell at this point, right? We know these things can propagate energy through empty space. The question is, you know, what are we really looking at here? So let's calculate the speed as it will give us a very important clue. So let's go ahead with our calculation. So V equals the square root of 1 over, now we have to remember uh, what our various quantities are. Epsilon naught, as you know, is 1 over 4 pi times Coulomb's constant. And Coulomb's constant is 9 times 10 to the 9th, right? And it gives us a force uh, between two charges. So it's going to be Newton meters squared per Coulomb squared. Now, mu naught, so this is the epsilon naught term. Mu naught, we know, is 4 pi exactly times 10 to the minus 7th. And this actually gives us the force between two currents. So this is in newtons per amps squared. Now, let's uh, see uh, at least how we're doing in terms of our dimensions. You'll notice that the Newtons cancel with the Newtons. That is very good. Uh, down below here, we have to be very careful uh, with, our, with our mathematics. So let, let, let's just uh, check the units out here very, very carefully. Notice that what I have here is 1 over 1 over meter squared. So the units on that are going to give me meter squared on top, but I have a square root. So it's going to be meters on top. So I've taken care of these meters. Now, if I just look here in the de whoop, now if I just look here in the denominator at what I have, all right, the Newtons cancel. At what I have here in my denominator, I have coulombs in the denominator, I've got, just speaking within the, de within the denominator, C is the denominator of a denominator. So C, the Coulomb squares are on top here. So I have Coulomb squared in the denominator divided by amps squared. But Coulomb amps are Coulombs per second. So what I have here is, I'll write it down, in the denominator I'm going to need square root of, and as we just said, we have Coulomb squared per amp squared. But amp is Coulombs per second. So let me uh, rewrite that then. That's Coulomb squared per second squared. The Coulomb squareds cancel. I have second squared in the denominator. So this whole term is going to give me then meters per second. I will have some speed. Now, what speed is it? The four pi's cancel perfectly. That is good. The nine times 10 to the ninth will do a double flip on top. So I'm gonna have square root of nine times 10 to the ninth. And then 10 to the minus 7th, when I invert that, gives me another factor of 10 to the 7th. So when I uh, simplify this, I've got square root of 9 times 10 to the 16th. And as we had just said, this is in meters per second. We just need to take the square root of this. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 10 to the 16 is 8. 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And what is that? You have to imagine what this day must have been like for Maxwell. This is what I like to call one of the great depends moments in scientific history, because this, of course, is the speed of light. So that great mystery that we started out the course with, namely, what is light, is answered now for us. It is what carries energy of the electromagnetic field through completely empty space. And it is a, 
a wave or a pulse of electromagnetic energy that travels precisely at the speed that experiments show light to be. And with that then, we will end the course and thank you very much.